film what I can. Uh, it caught me before sales ripped through. And welcome back to Adventures of an Old Sea Dog. We pick up the story as I'm trying to leave Australia, heading for Indonesia. Been a long day today, messing around with sails. There is some wind, but not enough to drive the boat, it would seem. It's one of those weird things, like back in the Pacific days. They're very similar, except the sea's not quite as rough as it was there. But, whoa, look at that. But, uh... There's wind, but the boat won't move. Bubbles are going by very slowly. What's going on? About an hour later, the wind changed direction for the fifth time. Again, in one afternoon. The thing of it is, there's an island 15 miles up the way there. I'm going to come across that tonight. Uh, when I'm all sleepy and everything. So I'm trying to get myself sorted so I stay on the outside of it. Especially if there's no wind, I don't want to be too close to land. Out here is okay. Broke my sunglasses. They're prescription ones, so I can actually see what I'm doing with those. Uh, special lenses, and they're bust, so had to get my uh, spare pair out, which are kind of comedy ones. Remember, remember these from years ago. <laughs> the new look. As the evening came around, it was obvious that something was going on. It, it felt different. The weather was different. Something was changing. No wind all night. Drifting. Now it's morning. I hope there's going to be something a bit different today. We lost the wind last night, what there was of it. As you can see at the front of the boat, we've got flogginess again. All day, no wind. Now we've got this stuff. It's been with me now for uh, the last few hundred miles. I've seen it before, but not quite like this. It's sort of bits of it, if you see what I mean. Look at it. Having to mess with the hydrovane just to keep us on a certain course at the moment with what tiny breeze there is. Trying to keep the sun uh, out of the sail shadow. This is the worst time of day now as the sun goes down and it's also behind the sails. That's why I start to lose power. Got the solar blanket uh, rigged up. But again, every time I put this somewhere, the boat turns to put it in the shade, as you can see. It's a constant battle to try and keep the sun out of being behind the, the foresail here. Uh, and I'm not doing too well. This is the last of it. After this bit of sun, I've got to make the batteries last all night. I was down to 11.1 volts last night. Normally I'd rely on Turby. But of course, without the wind, he can't do anything. Ongoing situation, I think it's about the sixth day becalmed and we've got problems with electric. For some reason, the batteries are draining out super quick. This morning I had 10 volts left in them. They should have been 12 plus. Uh, and the, the AIS had gone off, which is my lifeblood. I need that thing working. Big problem and I can't understand what's happening. They're brand new batteries. Onions become in the Timor Sea. In fact, that's a good point. We're now heading into the Timor Sea. You might have heard of that. We were in the Alba Fura Sea before, which nobody's ever heard of. But the Timor Sea is about there somewhere. You can't tell where the sea ends and the sky begins. Or is it where the sky ends and the sea begins? The end of another hot, hot day here. Uh, really hot. No wind again. I did get a forecast, but that ran out today. I've no idea what's gonna to happen tomorrow. I don't know how long this can go on for. Well, it can go on forever. I mean, it could never ever be any wind in this part of the world ever again. I mean, you just don't know. I have no idea. I'm limited on my supplies. Um, so this is gonna take a week longer to do, because basically I've been sat here for a week, pretty much. 
So if things get any worse, I, uh, the plan B or C or something is to actually turn around and go back to Darwin and go into Australia again, to Darwin, um, if I start running short supplies. And also we're getting near the cyclone season and I don't know if there's any cyclones coming. But if there is, um, I could be in big trouble. Okay, so there we go, another day. This has got to end soon. We've got to get some wind soon. Please, please, please. He just came in and sat on the table. Hello, little bird. Hello. Hello, little birdie. Hello. <laughs> You're very friendly. Yes, you are. Oh, it's down below. He just flew straight in and sat on the table. As you can see, we're completely becalmed again. There's going to come a point where this is critical, when I start running out of food and water. I've already calculated if I tried to motor back to Darwin, um, I'd use all the fuel up. I would, there's very little room for error, so I don't know. Then right on cue, the Australian border force flew over the boat. Just come on deck to play a bit of guitar and relax and then I thought I'd show you this. We're becalmed again and have been all day and just to prove a point this is um, a current right there and even though I'm 160 miles out from Darwin the current from Darwin is still affecting me. I'm facing up the way but I'm actually going backwards again. I'm going backwards towards Darwin. You can see this thing, that's actually the current right there. Sunny and it's windy. And I think and I hope, I think we finally left Australia. Got Skype up out. Unlike a lot of my contemporary uh, sailor video chappies, I've never actually flown off the boat, uh, not at sea anyway. And so I'm very nervous. Uh, so I'm, I'm being very careful about flying this. I don't want to lose him. Well, that's that. Sky pops out there somewhere. I couldn't get her to respond. Sky pop, where are you? I think he's gone down. Got an old-fashioned chart out. I'm going to show you. This is the top of the Great Barrier Reef, and obviously this is all Australia. It's a massive country. And we did a thousand miles all the way up the barrier reef right to the top to Thursday in Horn Island and we went across here and da 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 and Indonesia and this is the Timor Sea that's the island of Timor Indonesia is also a massive country and it spreads all over the place and we are here just outside of Darwin and I'm here for a reason to pick up internet because I've no internet and I got becalmed up here and I've been I think around 10 to 12 days, depending, just swapping around up here. Basically, I was trying to get to, to up here, but there's no way I can do that. There is no wind here. The currents had enabled me to drift backwards towards Darwin close enough to get some internet so then I could get some weather. But it was kind of dodgy. I was sort of drifting around anchored ships in the night. Moon! Ships! Spent all day trying to zigzag out of the bay after spending the previous night awake all night. Things were looking up. I was getting a bit of wind and actually making way. Then this happened. Wind, no wind. Let's check that again. Wind, no wind. Let's go out on deck and have a look. See, what's what? Um, yeah, so Darwin and the uh, bay, Beagle Bay is behind us here. We pretty much almost got out of this humongously big bay with the big currents uh, and then the wind has gone, gone and the current has turned so we're going back. The boat is facing that way which is Indonesia. It's facing that way. Everything looks okay but we're actually going that way. We're actually drifting backwards. The boat's set for forwards. We're going backwards like this. The water, everything around me, it looks like it's not moving, but the boat and the water are moving at the same speed a knot and a half back towards Beagle Bay. And the thing is, we need to get drift back 
not too far and catch this evening's wind which we'll pick up later and when that tide drops and starts going back this way hopefully we're not back where we started because otherwise we'll just do this back and forth back and forth until the end of time which is the way I feel at the moment <laughs> I was ready for giving up and I thought I'd give it one more try and we've got further out this time it's damnably hot I'm down below editing keep myself busy and I'm just going through the motions and there's nothing I can do everything's set correctly we're not moving there's nothing I can do so I'm not going to get too upset about it I've got some food and water left but not a lot it's going to be tight boys and girls tight decided to treat myself to a nice cold beer and play some music then I had a few friends come round to visit that was cool back and the little fellas on the front there's gonna be poop everywhere and I'm wondering why my panels don't work okay all right all right you can stay it's just coming off me in rivers I'm sweating like a pervert in a library honestly uh, and I threw some water over me earlier luckily it was only my hand that got affected but something stung me and my skin went all funny so I've got to be careful of the water I pull out of the sea. I can't wash in fresh water because I'm very limited on the supply on board. As with the diesel, I've used a bit to get out and a bit to get in. Um, so it's all going to be uh, a very tight one, this, down to the wire. Yeah, I use seawater for washing stuff and including dousing myself down. I don't want that to happen to the rest of my body. Uh, I'm always aware that there's something in the sea there, but this is um, not very good. Oh dear. All this no wind thing was beginning to wear me down. It was becoming a problem. So when there was a slight breeze, I decided to take a chance and launch the big green meanie. That's my spinnaker, a very lightweight, light wind sail. When you do something like this, everything gets caught on everything else. It's, it's part of the rules. <laughs> This point I'm very 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 hot to the point of feeling sick and wanting to pass out it is so so hot here I've got to do this we've got to get this to work you've got to work got to work baby basically not enough wind to fly even now A goodly sail last night, but this morning it's a different story. Lots of the uh, storminess over there. I don't know what the storms are like in this part of the world, so um, hmm, I'm watching the situation very carefully. Also, the batteries are flat again. Um, the AIS went off at about five o'clock this morning, uh, meaning I can't tell where I am and nobody can see me and I can't see them. But we have a tiny bit of wind and we are moving slightly. I didn't reef the mainsail last night. I always do normally at night, but in this placid weather, I decided not to because I need to get the miles in. And it's worked out quite well, but I'm wondering now whether I should take a reef in. I don't know if these winds are going to kick up or not. These rain clouds are different to what I'm used to in the Pacific and the Caribbean. Nobody to ask for advice here. Time for coffee. 
I was right to be worried. Over the years, I've developed a sixth sense, if you like, and I get that feeling that something's not quite right. And in this instance, I was spot on. It went from this to this. Film what I can. Uh, got some power weather gear on now. <laughs> Ain't saw that properly. And I saw that. The four sails ripped through. Destroyed it. Apart from that, I think we're all right so far. But I got to keep watching this. Steer downwind. chaos down in here. I think it's coming down a little bit. But we just had some lightning strikes just over there. So I'm committed to uh, Yeah, I finally, after what, an hour or something, got the boat so it's it's going to look after itself now for a bit. Poor Hydra over there, he's straining. Uh, yeah. This definitely caught me by surprise. I had no idea it was coming. See the lightning flashes occasionally. For sale is buggered. It's, just, it's, it's ripped. It's ripped to shreds. So uh, that's like five grand or something right there. I don't know what it is I've done to. To uh, there's a flash of lightning. To um, the gods, but, uh, they're not letting me have a good time, are they? Yeah. Scary. Got the hook on, he's up there. Can pull this in now. Uh, if I can straighten some of that out. Have to do it, have to put this much sail up to get the power to get us out through those waves. Because we've got to be more or less down that way. See this all ripped. Look, that's the lazy jacks, that's the holds the sail when you bring it down. What a bloody mess. Still about a hundred miles from Darwin, and I'm going in the wrong direction again. I'm not moving one or two. I remember seeing bits of it flying off in the wind. Long way to go. Really hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out Barry Sea Dog Parents, my other channel with my single halfway, and subscribe here if you like the content. Please do. Many, many thanks to my patrons for being so wonderful and supporting me in incredible ways over the last few years. Thank you so much. Uh, real time updates can be found here. Until next time on Adventures of an Old Sea Dog, you take care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye bye. At my age, you don't want to be filmed this close. Really, even though I am devastatingly good, hand, good, good, goodly handsome, goodly handsome. That's my name, goodly handsome.